Hey everyone, I'm Sean at Shock Surplus. Today we're gonna to talk about shocks, struts, coilovers, quick struts, um, the different terminology that you kind of come across when you're uh, hunting for parts for your vehicle. Um, technically, they're all shock absorbers. Just kind of keep that in your back of your mind. They're all shock absorbers. We'll just dive right into it. Um, struts are typically when the coil spring is sitting on the shock. So this right here is a, a prime example of that. This is a completely fully assembled unit. This is called, this is KYB's quick strut. So this part down here um, is the main shock absorber. Um, it's basically turned into a strut by the addition of A, these parts that mount onto the chassis and B, this part that map the coil spring collar that holds the coil spring so this is actually supporting the full weight of the vehicle um, if any of if this part fails down here if this part fails right here if this part fails right here then you're going to have a lot of problems because the weight of the vehicle is sitting on this strut um, typically kyb will sell the strut by itself without the coil spring and without the top hat this is just more of a, conven a convenient factor on some applications to where you get all in one more, more, more traditionally, um, you're going to buy a strut by itself. So this is a Bill Stein strut, and it's basically it's a shock absorber by itself, but it's going to be a strut when you put the coil spring collar on and you put the coil spring on it as well. Uh, you're going to see here that there is a, a small snap ring groove, and this actually holds um, the coil spring collar. That's going to hold the coil spring and that's gonna hold the weight of your vehicle. Um, yes, it's strong enough. We get that question a lot. Um, they have tremendous R&D, so you can be confident in that piece holding it. The difference there, so here we have just a normal, straight, typical shock absorber. Mounts on the frame here, mounts on the frame here, dampens that uh, energy up and down in just a traditional manner. This is what everyone's kind of used to here. Coilovers, um, some people you can typically, some people call these kind of quick struts a full coilover, that's okay. Technically it is a coil over shock. So the coil is over the main body of the shock and it's resting on the shock through the coil spring collar. Um, purist enthusiasts call something like this more of a, a coilover. So, this shock body is actually, um, its main purpose is to have a coil spring attached on it at some, at some point. Um, you can see this threaded, threaded grooves all along the body here. So this, this collar can be placed at any position here uh, with any kind of coil spring here, and that's gonna determine what application it gets used on. So essentially, um, this is a kind of a true coilover. And this is kind of what people um, think about wh when they hear coilover. They have these for trucks, uh, for cars, all types of different design types as well. So there's double coilovers where there's two different springs and a middle perch. Um, that's a little bit more technical than this talk, but we just wanted to kind of clear the air. Um, it's okay to just search uh, shocks for your Camry and um, struts will pop up quick struts are gonna pop up. You don't need to be too specific in the terminology when you're trying to hunt for parts on your vehicle as far as suspension goes. Um, there's not like, there, there are coilovers where there's also struts and there's also shocks all for the same vehicle. Um, we can obviously help out with that per application. Um, a lot of the times the front of vehicles are gonna see a strut and a coil spring, something like this and then the rear will be equipped more with a traditional shock. That's on a lot of the newer passenger cars. Some pass a lot of new passenger cars as well have struts all the way around. Um, so it's uh, no universal um, setup across applications. Uh, we would definitely love to help out uh, getting that sorted for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, um, want us to clarify even further on some of these items, um, hit us up in the comments, send us an email, live chat, uh, would love to help out. Thank you so much for watching.